Hey everyone, today I'll be reviewing the Sony 27-inch InZone M9 gaming monitor. I'll go over its features and give you my thoughts on whether it's worth its price. This monitor is fully compatible with PCs, consoles and is labeled as perfect for PS5. Let's see if it truly lives up to that claim. Sony M9 features 4K IPS panel with 96 dimming zones for better dark scenes, 144Hz refresh rate for smooth gameplay, but you are limited to 120Hz on PS5, 1 milliseconds input lag for instant response time, VRR for eliminating screen tearing and stutter, 2 HDMI 2.1 ports, auto HDR tone mapping for only PS5, 600 nits of peak brightness and NVIDIA G-Sync. In terms of design, this monitor is pretty big and has adequately thin bezels. The stand is adjustable and can only change height and tilt, but it won't swivel, which might be a downside if you use it for work. The stand wobbles and can be an issue when using a mouse and keyboard. However, monitor arm should fix all these concerns. Sony M9 has cable management, but connecting a cable is not easy because of the stand design. On the back, the monitor features LED lights that can be changed to 13 different colors. They are not bright enough to create a gaming atmosphere in a dark room, however. We have a multiple ports to accommodate consoles and PC users, including two HDMI 2.1 ports, a USB-C port, a display port, three USB ports, and a headphone jack. I wish Sony integrated a 96 watts USB-C charger to support MacBook Pro. This USB-C cannot even fast charge iPhone. 2 watt speakers on this monitor are a joke and should not be mentioned in this review. Despite some downsides, this monitor excels in terms of image quality. The 4K resolution on a 27-inch monitor is very sharp and packs 163 pixels per inch which makes text and edges almost retina-like. Out of the box, colors are very accurate for IPS panel. The viewing angles are great compared to TVs, but not as good as OLED panels. Thanks to 96 dimming zones, dark scenes look great and backlight bleeding is minimal. I haven't tested the 144Hz refresh rate yet, but 120Hz works great on PS5. With 600 nits of brightness, HDR gaming is noticeably bright and it's just enough for a monitor this size. Gaming on the display is very comfortable, especially for FPS games, because the small screen allows you to be more focused. I previously used 50-inch TV for PS5, but after switching to this monitor, I felt more engaged in fast-paced games. However, it's not as immersive for story-based games. As of now, I think a 32-inch monitor would be a sweet spot for both type of games. Reflection handling is excellent, thanks to matte finish. M9 offers some gaming asset features, timer and frame rate counter, which oddly shows Hertz instead of FPS. We also get several picture modes for standard use, FPS game and cinema. For professional use, this monitor functions as a regular IPS display. Text appears sharp thanks to 4K and colors are good enough. They are not as vibrant as Apple Studio Display, even though both are LED panels. When I got this monitor, I wanted a smaller screen to better focus on gameplay. I decided to try this one because Sony makes beautiful TVs and it's labeled as perfect for PS5, which is true in terms of having VRR, ALLM, Auto HDR, 120Hz and HDMI 2.1. It has decent color production in dark scenes thanks to local dimming, and there is minimal light bleed, at least in my case. It also offers a lot of ports for productivity. It works great for PC, but there are a lot of alternatives if you primarily use it for PC gaming. Some things to keep in mind with this monitor. For example, when switching games on PS5, monitor goes into scanning for input mode and takes several seconds to connect. I could not really figure out why it does that. Some reviews suggest that switching from 60Hz to 120 causes this, but it's same when switching from same refresh rates. During gaming, white color scenes are overexposed, which is typical for IPS panel. Overall, if you want a 4K monitor with small footprint, exclusively for PS5, this monitor might be the one. 
I will also be reviewing a 42 inch Sony A90K OLED display for gaming in upcoming videos. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss it. Thank you everyone, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one.